He is known for being a natural philosopher, chemist, physicist, alchemist, and inventor. He is recognized for his contributions to modern chemistry and the development of experimental scientific method. His name is Robert Boyle. In the world of science, there are few figures as influential as Robert Boyle. Born into a wealthy Anglo-Irish family, Boyle's insatiable curiosity and thirst for knowledge led him to become one of the foremost natural philosophers and chemists of his time. His groundbreaking work would lay the foundation for modern chemistry and experimental scientific method. From a young age, Boyle demonstrated an exceptional intellect and a deep fascination with the natural world. He delved into various fields of study, including physics, alchemy, and invention, but it was his contributions to chemistry that would solidify his legacy. Boyle's law, which describes the relationship between gas pressure and volume, remains a fundamental principle in the field to this day. One of Boyle's most significant contributions to chemistry was his book, The Skeptical Chemist. This seminal work challenged the prevailing theories of alchemy and laid the groundwork for the emergence of modern chemistry. In it, Boyle questioned the traditional belief in the transmutation of elements and emphasized the importance of rigorous experimentation and observation in scientific inquiry. Beyond his scientific pursuits, Boyle was also a deeply religious man. As a devout Anglican, he explored the intersection of science and theology in his writings, seeking to reconcile his scientific discoveries with his faith. His multifaceted approach to knowledge and his ability to bridge the gap between science and spirituality made him a truly remarkable figure. Today, Robert Boyle is remembered as one of the founding fathers of modern chemistry. His relentless pursuit of knowledge and his unwavering commitment to the scientific method paved the way for future generations of scientists. His legacy serves as a reminder that even in the face of skepticism and doubt, the pursuit of truth and understanding can lead to profound discoveries that shape the course of history. Robert Boyle, a renowned philosopher and scientist, was born into a privileged family in Ireland. His father, Richard Boyle, had amassed great wealth and landholdings, earning him the title of Earl of Cork. From a young age, Boyle was exposed to a world of learning and education. He was tutored in Latin, Greek, and French, and even had a private tutor who taught him Irish. However, Boyle's true passion lay in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. At the age of eight, Boyle and his brother Francis were sent to Eton College in England. It was during his time at Eton that Boyle's thirst for knowledge truly began to flourish. He was fortunate to have Sir Henry Wotton, a family friend, as the provost of the college. Under Wotton's guidance, Boyle was exposed to a wide range of subjects and ideas. Despite his exposure to various languages and cultures, Boyle's true fascination lay in the field of science. In 1641, he embarked on a journey to Italy with a French tutor. It was during their stay in Florence that Boyle had the opportunity to meet and study under the renowned astronomer Galileo Galilei. This encounter with Galileo left a lasting impression on Boyle and sparked his interest in the mysteries of the universe. Throughout his early years, Boyle's insatiable curiosity and thirst for knowledge drove him to explore various fields of study. He delved into the paradoxes of the great stargazer and sought answers to the fundamental questions of existence. Boyle's experiences and encounters shaped his philosophy and laid the foundation for his groundbreaking contributions to the scientific community. Robert Boyle, a renowned philosopher and scientist, returned to England in the mid-1640s with a passion for scientific research. He settled in Stalbridge House, where he established a laboratory and dedicated himself to the pursuit of knowledge. During this time, he became part of a group known as the Invisible College, a gathering of intellectuals committed to exploring new ideas and philosophies. They often met in London, including at Gresham College, as well as in Oxford. In 1652, Boyle decided to move to Ireland to manage his family's estates. However, he soon became frustrated with the lack of resources and support for his chemical experiments. In a letter, he described Ireland as a barbarous country where chemical spirits were so misunderstood and chemical instruments so unprocurable that it was hard to have any hermetic thoughts in it. Determined to continue his research in a more conducive environment, Boyle relocated to Oxford in 1654. He rented rooms at University College, where he could work undisturbed. It was here that he became fascinated with Otto von Guericke's air pump, a device that could manipulate and study the properties of air. Boyle, along with Robert Hooke, set out to improve upon Guericke's design, creating a more practical and efficient air pump known as the Machina Boyleana, or pneumatical engine. With his new apparatus, Boyle conducted a series of groundbreaking experiments on the properties of air. He coined the term, factitious airs, to describe his findings. One of his most significant contributions was the discovery of the inverse relationship between the volume and pressure of a gas, now known as Boyle's Law. While others, like Henry Power and Edmund Marriott, 
also developed similar ideas, Boyle's work played a crucial role in establishing the principle. Boyle's scientific achievements did not go unnoticed. In 1663, the Invisible College transformed into the Royal Society of London for improving natural knowledge, and Boyle became a member of its council. Although he declined the position of society president in 1680 due to personal beliefs, his contributions to scientific thought and experimentation continued to inspire generations of scholars. In his later years, Robert Boyle's health began to decline, causing him to withdraw from his public engagements and limit his interactions with others. He sought solitude to focus on his studies and prepare important chemical investigations, which he intended to leave as a legacy to future scholars. Despite his declining health, Boyle's passion for knowledge remained strong. As the years went by, Boyle's health continued to deteriorate, and in 1691, he passed away. His death came just a week after the loss of his sister, Catherine, with whom he had shared a home in scientific pursuits for over two decades. Boyle's funeral took place at St. Martin in the Fields, and his close friend, Bishop Gilbert Burnett, delivered a moving sermon in his honor. Boyle's contributions to the world of science and philosophy were immense. His will included the endowment of a series of lectures called the Boyle Lectures, which still exist today. These lectures serve as a testament to his dedication to education and the pursuit of knowledge. Even though Boyle's physical health declined, his intellectual curiosity and passion for learning remained undiminished until the end. His story reminds us of the importance of persevering in our pursuits, no matter the obstacles we may face. Boyle's legacy lives on through his contributions to science and his commitment to sharing knowledge with future generations. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.